Welcome to the Moonlight 2 setup video. We promise to be quick. It's pretty nice weather, so we're going to lay the tent out first, then anchor it, then put the poles in it. If it was nastier, we'd probably do the poles first, and if it was really nasty, we'd do the poles and rain fly first, and then crawl in and put the tent up under that. It turns out that at this particular site, there's almost no place where a stake just goes in. So you're going to see me making really good use of those super long stakeout loops with adjustability and attaching things to rocks all over the place. And look at that, we're ready for the poles. As usual, take advantage of the fact that there's no roof above you and assemble the poles right straight up. All right, we've laid out the center cross pole over the top of the tent and now it's time to do the eye pole. You take the leg of one and just put it in the socket. Go over to the other side grab it and it's pretty easy to just flex it right on in there. Then we start putting the poles in the tent. Do the cross pole first. It just pops right into those little Jake's foot minis. Yeah, like that. I like to put a clip or two in so that it holds the pole up. Then you add the eye pole, and we put some nice color coding on there to make it easier to figure out which way it goes. Then we lock the frame together using a little part called a swivel CHL. This unitizes the frame so that a push on one part of the frame is a push on the entire frame. The tent gets attached directly to the swivel CHL with what's called an H-clip and it has no sliding or slop so it actually strengthens the tent quite a lot. Clips you've seen. But you might not have seen an S-stopper before. Same idea only it's directly on the pole so that clip can't slide on the pole at all. It's another small example of just a little feature that weighs and costs almost nothing that improves the product. Time to put on the rainfly. As you're putting the rainfly over the top of the tent, it helps navigation to know that the points on the triangles there are the vestibule point and there's a cross seam on top that lines up with the ridge pole. The corners clip onto the tent with adjustable quick release buckles. It's best to have them loose first and then after the vestibule has been pulled out go back and just tighten up the corners very nicely. Being polyester the rainfly actually has very little change in dimension whether you yank on it or not or get it wet or not so it's kinda nice that way. Okay, let's show you how using rocks for anchors works. First, you take the loop, and then you take the cord that comes from the loop and put it through the loop. What you end up with is a slip knot kind of arrangement on the end of the cord. Put a little rock in there, snug it down, lay it out, and then put a big rock on top of the cord so that the little rock is jammed up against it. This anchor is actually way better than just trying to go directly around a rock or boulder. It really does a much better job of holding the tent down. Then you walk around the tent and tighten those four quick release buckles that we talked about. Done!